welcome back to a behind the scenes for all Kerbal Kind video. In this episode, well, it's not an episode, we're going to be building the T-38 Talon, a vehicle that NASA used for astronaut training. Uh, in our case, it's the K-38 Talon. Uh, it's based off of the F-5 airframe, and uh, I planned on using it for coming videos, just sort of as filler, maybe some sort of cinematic segments. There's a lot of cool things we can do with just flying jets around. Um, so I was going to build it anyway, and since we have a skip week this week, uh, Beardy's episode should be next week if all things go well, I figure we might as well put something out there to fill the space. Now, you saw in the little intro segment what it ends up looking like, but it all starts off here with an empty space playing hangar and this. <laughs> this is a bunch of uh, I-beams that are roughly mapped out to the right dimensions that I needed. This is what we started with. We started with these high beams that I got from uh, the internet and from uh, Yoshi's help with uh, just telling me what the different lengths and widths of stuff are and wings. And it all starts to get built out from here. Uh, so without further delay, let's build this thing. won't be interjecting too often, but every now and then if I feel like I have something to say or if I'd like to explain something you're seeing on screen with a little more detail, I'll pop in like this. Uh, I just wanted to say that this build footage was about eight and a half hours of footage that is crammed into a much, much shorter time frame. And the camera's gonna be moving around like crazy because I didn't really think I would be using this footage, but here we are anyway. Uh, so apologies for all of the camera movements. Um, but as you can see here, the main parts of the body are actually rather simple procedural wing shapes, leaving gaps for the more complex parts later on. Here we are beginning something that I'd struggled with for quite a while, and that was the side intakes. We didn't really have a nice neat intake part that I could mold into the shape it needed to fit into. And the only thing we could really have fit was this rather small radial intake. And so we have it shoved towards the back there, and what we're gonna be doing for quite a while, I think, is using a whole bunch of procedural shapes. You got wings, you got structure, you got fairings, and more structure you'll see later on, making a slanted uh, intake, uh, just filling the front of this out. It was, uh, it was a struggle.
Yeah, here I attempted avoiding using the procedural fairing to see if I could sort of use these uh, structural bits to smoothly map to the shape of the procedural wing behind it. However, I it just didn't look good. So as soon as I started really positioning things, I took a look at it and immediately loaded a save and got rid of that progress. We're gonna be putting a procedural fairing sort of on the back of this uh, intake front part. And later on, what's not shown in footage is I think we, ad we edited the procedural wing just a little bit to get that to be a smooth transition. It's a little bit choppy here. It gets a little bit better uh, after the footage. There's a few other things that I was able to add on and edit and fix and change that isn't shown in footage as well, uh, but I'll explain those when I remember what they are <laughs> later on in the video. <laughs> As you see there, that cockpit is called the Jet Trainer Cockpit, and I'm not entirely certain what vehicle it's supposed to represent. I sort of assumed it would be the Talon, but it is far, far too large. So maybe it's utilized for something like the F-14 or something else. I'm, uh, I'm not entirely too certain about that, but if you're wondering why we made a completely custom cockpit, well, that would be why. finally have the wings placed on the aircraft, which starts a somewhat painful process of segmenting them all out for control surfaces while keeping them the same shape. But I came up with a method that lets me do this with relative ease, the least amount of pain possible. You basically place the wings overlapping each other and cut them down to size one by one, and it ended up working rather well.
these are replaced with procedural fairings instead of hollow procedural parts later on. I didn't come up with that idea until the next day. test did show promise and it's just now I'm, I'm realizing some of the things that are changed from this design or added on edited fixed that you don't see in this time lapse this build lapse the nose you can see it's sort of slanting down and a little bit stubby I do end up changing the way that looks a little bit um, at the other end of the vehicle the engines i provide a little bit more structure around so they look bigger because these engines are rather small i think they're slightly smaller than they need to be uh, but with some uh i think i used fairings i suppose i could have used uh hollow procedural parts i didn't think about that till right now uh, but i used some fairings and structural block to fill those out and I believe the bottom structure of the gear, I put a white flag over so it looks white there. And what you're seeing here is how painful it is to add the blue stripe on there. It's actually text. It's dash, 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 etc. Uh, that's all mushed together and colored blue. And I, uh, I think I very well could make a flag that has the correct three stripe pattern for the entire side of the vehicle and then remapping those but putting things on these uh, procedural parts that are being used for the body was a little bit difficult you have to look at it with just the right angle for it to actually attach to the part and the idea of going through that again a little bit uh, a little bit painful so this is pretty much the finished build here apart from some additions that i make and later on some things that you see in the intro for instance i was even noticing some bits of the tail are slightly off angle wise but i fixed that later on but regardless that is essentially most of the uh t38 or the k38 talon build lapse footage that i have so Next week should be Beardy's episode, the week after that mine, and I'll intend to have this vehicle in the beginning of that one. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. Special shout out to Chris Gebert, Darth Malakor, Elliot Ewing, Guy Called Odin, Mr. Blue Star, and everyone else on the Patreon for your support. Thank you all so much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week.